I want to demonstrate how it is that the list shifter element helps me in all of my apps to be able to make sure that when I'm displaying things for the first time, that there is not a lag. Very often within our apps, we're going to have different elements that are going to be hidden until we take some action to make them visible. I have a page inside of my application in which I have a bunch of different elements that are going to be showing different components around an attorney's profile, such as their admissions to bar associations, education, etc. So if I go ahead and I click on resume, you can see a dramatic difference between what's happening here on bar admissions and education and every other. To demonstrate again, let me just refresh this page. Clicking on resume, see how education has already shown up while the others have not? I'll refresh it again click on resume. You see how education was there and all these others took a little bit of time? The reason why there's a difference is that in other areas, such as the experience, of a repeating group in which I'm searching at that point. Because this is not visible to the user on page load, it seems like what Bubble is doing is not having that search run until it becomes visible. So instead, something that I do, such as in the education repeating group, I'm actually putting the data source to a list shifters element. In my elements, or sorry, in my pages or reusables, I have a floating group. I set it beneath the page so it does not affect the responsive design. And I put inside of that different plugin elements that are needed on the page for their functionality. In this example, such as a list shifter. It's on the list shifter element that I actually put that search. So instead of being in a position for the search to only be performed once these elements are visible and having that lag time, instead my search is actually performing when the page is loaded and therefore when I finally get to showing this element, the data is already there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again for all the other elements. So let's go ahead and change this over to be for the bar admissions. And we're gonna be searching for bar admissions. And let's change this over to be bar admissions. And we'll do this again and again until we've got all of our different ones set up. So let's go ahead and do this now for the experience. And we can go ahead and be getting our different settings here which is going to be this one is employment not experience and employment all right and let's do another one here copy and paste and let's get this one over to be for the associations and let's get this going here and associations and lastly we're going to be getting the awards and once I do this, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually go through the process of changing every repeating group over to be the list shifter element rather than the actual search within it. So if I can find my space here, let's go ahead and just reveal this in the elements tree so it opens up and highlights. If it does, come on, reveal an elements tree. Finally, thank you. And let's get this over to the list shifter for bar admissions. And we'll go ahead and do that with the experience and LS experience. And now we'll come down to get our other group and we'll get our associations. And now we're going to come down to here to our awards and this will be the final one that we need to do and once we get this in place we can now take a look and preview and we will see a dramatic improvement over the user experience because now the information is right there immediately. This is why I use the list shifter in almost all of my apps. I believe it is the most underused plugin on the bubble marketplace. It does so much for you beyond just this but highly recommend it for something just 
like this type of situation in which you want to have elements not visible on page load, allow your users to show or hide those elements at different times, and make sure that all that data, if it is requiring a search from the database to be available, having that available immediately instead of having this lag time. I'm going to end up having to do the same thing here for my fees. You can see the fees take a little bit of time to come through because before I had it set up the same way as I did with the resume, which now is different. Again, taking a quick look at that difference there, we're going to go ahead and click on resume. It's immediately there. Fees, got a little bit of a lag time. Don't want those lag times.